Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you how to make a face map and the template for yourself. Remember, I'm showing you the template here and you go ahead and make it with me. I'm not posting any template on any uh, side, okay? So I have a piece of paper right here that's six and a half by 11, okay? Six and a half by 11. I will have everything on my description. Please check up there. If you miss one of the part of my video, please rewind the video and watch it. Because if you watching the video and then you make a comment, tell me what is the size of the circle. I'm not going to be able to tell you right away. Because you know what? I'm going to I'm going to replace the video and watch again because I make many video I don't remember okay so please help me out for that part instead of waiting for me for days and hours and hours so you can just rewind the video okay so when you have the, um, the paper you fold it in half the full side is on your left this is very simple measurement so on the top here the top I am going to take two and a half inch. Two and a half inch. Two and a quarter. On the side where the fold, you're going to measure two inch and a quarter. It's right here, okay? So that was two in and a quarter right there okay now you're going to connect this two lines together just like this simple okay I like you to take one inch one inch and on the side here That three and a half inch. Okay, now you see it, right? So now I need you to connect this line to this line. From the point up here, I like you to measure this down one inch and a quarter. One in and a quarter right there. Okay, just right there. Now this is the easy part. It's like on the bottom here where one inch, you're gonna connect into three and a half right there. Okay, so you have something like that. It look really weird. Okay, so this is the this is very simple, and I like to make it easy for everyone. So remember, as always, we're going to do this. This line and this line, we're going to fold so you can see this. They meet each other right here. Okay, and then you pinch right in the middle, and you have the middle right there. Now you're going to get. This is eight inches, okay? So if you have anything that eight inches, you can just measure from here to here. Make sure these two lines meet together like this. Okay? Just like that. And from this line right here, that's when when I say one inch in the um in a quarter, you're going to get this one, not this, this one. Okay, I'm going to hold this line right here to here. Remember not this on the top, the second dot right here. That's where one inch and a quarter. You're going to meet this two line together. Do the same thing. That's where you don't have to measure the middle. Just make everything easy for yourself. Same thing, you're going to get the hook and it leave it right there. As long as this side, right, that dot right there, meet in this dot right here nicely. And that's it. The curl line. Okay, so now you have it. 
Okay, I'm going to cut this out. When you open it, it's going to be like this. Okay, this is very, very comfortable. Mask everybody that you can wear. Very comfortable. Okay, so now what you do with that, you're going to find a fabric. Either way, you can open this like this when you trace the line. Or you can fold it, but you have to fold the full side of the fabric. Okay, so I'm going to go find my fabric that I'm going to use for that. So this is a Japanese fabric everybody. I'm going to see if I can fold it without wasting the, the fabric. So everyone I'm trying to save the fabric so I'm going to move the fabric around and I'm going to uh, try to get this flower and you place this is the full side of the fabric make sure it meet the full side of the template okay and now you can get the pen and you can trace the line so you can cut A lot of people just want it um, convenient for themselves, but this is so simple. You just go ahead, get a piece of paper, just like a lady that, that always do this to me. I don't know how many times I mentioned that. She is awesome. She gets safe her shopping bag and she cut the template every time I, I show something new here. She's always do that. Cut the template herself, follow my direction, and then she save it. She date the day of the video, so she know which one is which. That was awesome. That's the way to do, everyone. Okay, so everyone, after I cut the two fabric out, and it's gonna be like this, like a butterfly, kind of. So what do you do? You go on to turn into the other side, and you go on to sew this like. Okay, same thing to the other one. You go on this and sew the slide too. Okay, make sure every time when you buy a fabric, you have to wash the fabric, wash and dry. Okay, I think I said that before because first of all, you don't know where they store the fabric with the dust and everything. Second, you you want to check uh, the um, the fabric that how much it shrink. Sometimes it, the fabric shrink and it it after you make the face mask, it going to be smaller than you expect. So make sure you do that, everyone. And if you after you wash, you dry, and the fabric is uh, wrinkle, make sure you iron it before you cut it out. Just a little thing for you to be aware of. Okay, so everyone, after you sew this two lines together, this is this is it. You can use your fingernail and you can press the line that you just so press it out like that so it's flat out this side for you. So you're going to face this right side up like that. And then I have another one right here. I did the same thing. You can just press with your fingernail and then you go on to place it on top of the other one. Okay, so what I like you to do is that I'm go I cut out the piece of fabric, same fabric I use, and I'm cut out this is three inches by one inch. So you go on to get this and press with your fingernail about a quarter of an inch. Just press it down with your 
the two end here with your fingernail just pressed this is for the nose bridge pocket everyone I like to make the nose bridge pocket because you can take it in and out every time I don't like it to stay in permanently okay so you after you fold those two and a quarter up an inch you hold it together and then you press the line in the middle okay and then you come in here this two joy right here that we have we're going to place that middle line right there that we pinch right in the joys that does the two some um, face mat here the two side of the face mat you're going to make sure it stay right in the middle just like that When it stay in like this, you're going to get the clip and you're going to clip it down. Okay. You're going to move around with your hand. Make sure everything light up nicely. It should be. Okay. We're going to start sewing, okay? So I'm going to, this is this is the no bridge pocket right here, okay? I like you to leave the filter pocket on the bottom of the face mat, okay? So I like you to sew from here to here, and then you go on to leave about two inch here, and then continue to sew the whole thing up there all the way, and sew this ear side too, okay? So let's go ahead and sew this line. This is about two inch. Okay, so I'm gonna come out. I'm going to make a few loop. So for the filter, I googled the other day. It said the baby wipe for non uh, for sensitive skin. So it's like no fragrance, um, no sense in there. You know, it's all natural. You using that. You're using that, you take it out, you don't um, do anything, just take it out, air dry, hang it out so it's air dry overnight, whatever. So when it dry, you can use that for the filter. And they say that for, uh, the level of breathing is really good. So I don't know, I'm not sure yet, but you can Google and, and let me know. Okay, so this is about two inch, so I'm going to leave around two inch okay so two in now i'm going to continue to sew this in very simple everyone before you you move on to the um, the next line you always do the loop this one right here you gotta do more sewing here right here because you're going to open and close the filter pocket many times so uh, I always say that make sure you sew this line really good okay and now you're going to move on you're going to sew all the way up to here and then I show you how to sew the no ribs piece together. Okay. Okay, so you know that I sew the line right here. So I leave the two inch on the bottom here. I sew all the way, all the way to ear side and go all the way up to here. That's where we give we leave the little piece right here for the nose pocket, no bridge pocket. So when you go up to here, you're going to make sure you're going to place your hand in there and try to hold that piece up along with the other two pieces here. You have it in your hand, now you continue to sew it in. Make sure you hold on to it because you don't want to sew the two pieces that belong to the face mat, but that piece is like falling down. You know, so you have to make sure I have it right here in my hand. I wrap it right here. You can see it right there. Now you're going to sew it in.
Okay, so when you get to here, you can take the clip off and you're going to make sure that that piece is lined up with the other two pieces. This is right here. It's a, okay, so now you hold it down and you're going to continue to sew. But when you get into that joist right here where all the line, you have to make sure you sew a few times there. You sew more than the other area that you sew because this is all the line that it joins together we want to make sure it stay good after we're done with the face map thingy we'll go on to um show you how to make the earring and things like that and many stuff Okay, so now every line they are sewing everything. So we'll go on to inside out through the whole, the the space right here. The the place that you sew, just gentle. Okay, don't poke too hard. Can you go on to make a hole? Then you go on to be mad at yourself. Okay, go all the way here. Okay, now you go on to go around and then press the line that you sew here. Press this around with your fingernail, everyone. And then after that, we can use the iron and you will iron this down. And we'll go on, I'm going to show you how to do this one. Okay, uh, when you iron all the line, all these line, I just iron it just to save your time. And so here, this is the Nobritz pocket. All you need to do just Fold it down half, halfway, half, sometimes I don't talk the whole thing. All right, let me just cut this little string here. That's driving me crazy. Okay, so fold it down half and press with your fingernail. And then from here, you're going to press this down. Make sure when you do that, you're going to press this down really good, okay? With your fingernail, you're going to press this down so the light down nicely for you. You're going to sew this light all the way to the other end, okay? To the other side here. On this side right here, you're going to close this. Leave this side open. So... You can, at this time, you can change your dress um, color of your dress. Okay, so I hide it off underneath here. Now I'm going to sew this back in. Just lie your needle underneath. Like this, a little bit on the face mat and a little bit on the... Um, no bricks. The fold. Get into here, you go on to close this. Okay, so the no bricks don't fall out. <laughs> you one of my baby, one of my kids. Okay, so now you go on to make the loop and you're done for this. Okay. I'm going to cut the dress out. Okay, and now that's it. You can see it's gonna stay the inside here when you put the Nobritz piece in there. Okay, so on this side, on this side of the ear loop, you go on to take in. A quarter of an inch like this, and then you sold it in. 
you're going to slide the needle underneath here hide the thread hide the knot and then just slide all the way this face mat is not going to you can use two way that's why i make the, the, the hole right here so you can use either way you can use the elastic or you can use the string I'm going to do exactly the same thing like this for the other side of the ear loop okay and then and then i'm going to show you how to put the the string on so you can wear around your um your back your neck your head for this i'm going to use i'm going to cut about like 40 inches of this i have a no piece right here what i'm going to do when they sell the big giant thing like that you don't need that big one you're going to break it in half so half about two inch the the one piece is like right here this four inches now you need two inches long you don't need the no bit to go one ear to the other ear so you're going to cut this because it's kind of sharp so you get the scissor you go on around the corner and then you just snip it right there just around it okay are you a different scissor okay so now you're going to slide this into this no bridge pocket right here okay everyone okay so it's right there that's good for your nose when you wear it you can just bend it down so it can stay around your nose just like that okay how pretty this face mat is everyone look at how big is the room right here especially right here i like how it is so let me get the um this thing through this side and then we're going to find out what we're going i going to show you okay so actually we'll go down to one just leave it there from this we're going to bring the other side up this one right here we're going to bring it up okay so this is the no bridge and this is the loop that i just put it in the two ear loop right here that's one string and this is the other string so i'm going to show you how to wear it okay so everyone look at this this is how you wear it. the the own the two thing is you're hanging down like that you go on and the no bridge pocket is upside down so all you need to do you go on to wear this like this you're going to put in your over your head like that and then from here you are on the flip flip it over and then you go on to move this land right here okay and let me just turn around so i can show you so when you have it fit right here everything nice and snug in right there it won't go to your ear at all and look how um the no bridges stay right there so nicely everything snug really well here i'm gonna turn around so i'm gonna show you i don't know i'm not sure but right here so you can tie this right here when you see it it fit you perfectly you can tie the knot back here okay and that's it that basically that's how it is when you wear it's different also if you don't like this thing this string the strap go around like that you can always change this to the loop okay the elastic or the pantyhose i like it because this thing hold it out so my mouth never touching the face mask Thank you for watching everybody please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my video please don't forget to share with your friend and family thank you stay safe